Hello and welcome to another Modern Toy Fair Reviews. Today I am taking a look at the Mofex number 151 Homelander figure. Both Homelander and Butcher managed to release and ship right on the uh, the coattails of the new season of the boys coming out, so I'm even more excited for this figure than I already was. But let me know in the comments below if you picked this up, if you're on the fence, what your thoughts and feelings are, and of course, give us a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and want more toy-related content. But that's enough chitter-chatter, let's go ahead and get at her. All right, let's take a look at how the figure turned out. So first and foremost, this likeness is fantastic. They really did a great job of capturing Anthony Starr's likeness. He's got that kind of dickhead smile that we're all used to. Even the hair sculpt looks great, and you've got like the darker hair that's shorter underneath. On both sides, you can see it a little better on the other side. With the lighter on top, and they just really killed it. You got the red collar of the gold stars kind of going through it, which looks really good. Some great detail there. And then going down to the suit itself, you've got that blue with that kind of basketball texture that we're used to for a lot of these live action superhero shows. You can see how it like stretches across his chest and his abs and everything. It also has the lines for that. You've got the shoulder pads, which do move with the figure, but we'll get to that interarticulation. And then more of that blue, and then down to the gloves where you really see the red and gold with like all the little details in there. And the pad on the back of the glove. Spin the hand around here. You can see fingers sculpted there. And then back to the suit, we've got the Homelander logo on that gold belt with some great sculpt. More of that kind of textured stretch across his legs and his muscles. And then down to the boots where you have that red with the gold trim, and then the Homelander logo again, and then more of those kind of like pads on the feet. You can see there, and you can see a lot of like wrinkles and stuff to kind of give it that like leathery look, which is great. Um, bottom of the feet, you do have the tread on his shoes, which is always a nice touch. You also have some stars there since he's Homelander and everything. It's going to be stars and stripes. On the back, the top of his cape is this plastic piece to kind of keep it in place, which I normally don't like, but it works really well here. Um, and then the cape itself looks really good with the, the red and white uh, stripes. It is pleated like the uh, Dark Knight capes. Uh, then the back of the suit is a lot more of the same that we're used to from the front. Uh, so I, I'm really happy with how this turned out. On to articulation. So we'll start, as always, with the head. So you do have the ball joint there at the top. It twists around on that little hinge. See, it gets a decent amount up and also down uh, he does have that muffex joint it's a little thicker this time around but it does have that little kind of kink in it so you can twist it around to get more up or more down depending on what you're feeling or what you need him to do uh, but for the most part you get quite a bit of range either way for the arms there is a little bit of hindrance because the shoulder pad does adjust and move up and down it has a little hinge there that is able to like shift around. Uh, it can pop off and it is a pain in the ass to get it back on, but you can definitely work with it. Uh, but you can get almost 90. Uh, you don't want to push too far or you could risk popping that off. It goes all the way around. You'd have the butterfly joint in there. You see all the rotation all the way around. And it also kind of comes out and you have the bicep swivel, double jointed elbows which only go hand fell off there pop that back on which only goes about there i'm gonna blame that on his uh big fake biceps and then the wrist peg does go back and forth it seems more and more that the mofex figures are like for the wrists and feet they're making sure that they're not too tight so you don't break them so they come off a little easier which i'm okay with i'll take that over anything else with some of the issues we've had as far as the midsection, you do have two points for articulation, tons of rotation, and articulation forward and backwards. You can twist it pretty far each way. It does break up the line of his little uh, stripe on his vest. You do have forward with the leg and backward, and the hip does come down. You can go pretty far out to the side. You do have a little bit of the hip rotation, double jointed knees, and then the ankle pivot forward back and side to side, along with the toe articulation, which uh, I'm not a big fan of. Uh, real quick, I also want to point out, the cape is fully wired as well. It's also pleated, kind of like the uh, Dark Knight uh, figures are, 
so that way it folds in and you're not stuck with this giant flowing cape like the Hush Batman figures. You can kind of adjust it as needed, but you can definitely unfold it and get that full flowing cape effect to really uh, make it come to life, which is nice. And you can kind of just arrange them like that and voila! All right, on to accessories. So first we have this kind of grumpy face Homelander. He's a little more serious, a little less smiley. Um, definitely still captures that likeness really well. The hair sculpt looks great. All the sculpt in the face looks fantastic. Let's see more of the hair there and the two tones. Then we have angry Homelander with those laser eyes ready to go. I do wish we would have gotten like a laser effect. That would have been kind of cool. Uh, you can definitely tell the difference in the hair color is a lot better on this one. Uh, just because the hair is a little messier. Then we have the chest plate. So this is swappable so you can give Homelander that like folded down part uh, flap for his costume. And it does just pop in and out. So it's pretty easy just to show you here and like that. So you can kind of have it however you want it. Hands, you get two thumbs up hands. Then you get two pointing hands. So that way you can just kind of point at Butcher and yell. You've got relaxed hands and all of them have that little pad on the back. Then you have the kind of sprawled out fingers, and then a set of choking hands, which I think is a great addition. So we can have them choking other figures. And then, of course, you have the stand. This time around, I've been sending out these ones that have the three prongs or the two prongs. You can kind of switch it out. Uh, so that's kind of nice. And then last up, we have this uh, authentication sheet that they're sending out with the new figures, which is cool, but I mean, I don't need it. On to a quick size comparison. So here we have him and Butcher. Butcher's a smidgen shorter, which is funny because in the technically in the show and in real life, Anthony's similarly shorter. Uh, then we have Moffat's Batman here, who's a little bit taller than both of them. And then the Valorverse figure is also towering over everybody. So let's move these out. Then we have Marvel Legends John Favreau and good old Super 7 Raphael. Uh, so John Favreau actually lines up pretty good. Like he could definitely pass as just like one of the Vault Va agents or something. And then Raph is you know too big for the Moffex figures, beefy wise in my opinion. But you can kind of make it work. And then last up, let me move Homelander over here. We've got the Marvel Legends Armadillo build a figure, and he towers over everything and just scales great and looks fantastic. And last up is the box. You have Homelander at the bottom, the boys, all the logos for Moffex Metacom, the Homelander logo. You've got that kind of dark blue in the back. You've got the boys logo at the top, boys on the side, and Homelander figure on the side. Same with the other side. Bottom, you just have all the please don't choke on this morning's and the barcode. And on the back, you've got just Homelander in every pose possible, along with everything it comes with. Uh, pretty standard for Moffex. Okay, so overall, I'm really happy with how this turned out. I think they did a great job of capturing the likeness of Anthony Starr. Uh, he looks just like he does in the show. The details in the suit, the articulation, everything's pretty solid on it. But, uh, the only thing I don't really like is the uh, shoulder pads uh, come off from time to time if you push too far. But you can get them back on as long as you aren't too aggressive and, and break it. So like all Mo MoffX figures, be, uh, be careful when you're messing around with them. But let me know in the comments below what your thoughts and feelings are if this may have pushed you one way or the other over the fence. And of course, give us a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and want more toilet related content. Also, go ahead and follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at Modern Toy Fair. And catch us every week, Wednesday nights live, twitch.tv forward slash Modern Toy Fair at 10 p.m. Eastern Time for Only Figs, our weekly purchase show. You can also catch that every Wednesday the following week on here, but if you want to be part of the chat and come hang out with us, make sure to catch it live. But that's going to be it for this video, so hopefully we'll see you next week, same toy time, same Toy Fair channel. Thank you for watching.